what's happening another review this week this time I was generously given the clay pomade by faith and integrity um, we'll jump right into this but first I want to thank you all for watching these videos and everything like that if you like the content like subscribe and let me know if there's any videos that you want to see here but anyways we'll keep rolling through these and this week the clay pomade so held in your classic four ounce tub, plastic, nothing too exciting in terms of the actual jar itself, black lid, a very dark green label, hopefully it shows off nice within the video. We have the ingredients on the side. The classic Faith and Integrity logo. If you guys haven't heard about this company, I believe they're based out of Chicago and they started brewing products this year and have really uh, set up the, a nice catalog of products so far. I believe they have a original pomade, clay pomade. They have an alim a limited matte paste, I believe. Their Harvest Moon, uh, which has been reviewed by some other reviewers. And then, yeah, we'll go through this one, the clay pomade today. Uh, continuing on the label, we got application instructions on the side. Nothing too exciting, a little bland, hard to read the ingredients as well as the, the application. Um, same with the, the logo on the front, can be difficult to read. I think uh, it needs a little bit of revamp. And the logo that they have, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. And yeah, you can take it as is. I won't go too far into there. Overall, pretty mediocre jar, jar, jar and um, essentially content. Opening it up, the clay pomade here. Now they do offer different scents and stuff, but the version I have right now is a very strong, pungent citrus scent. And that's straight what it is. It's clean, it's fresh, it's strong. But opposing that, it's only strong out of the jar. Give it an hour at most, you won't smell it in your hair. Pretty straightforward. Looking into the jar, um, now one thing to note, uh, my jar is kind of ugly because I worked out with a, a deal with Frank essentially to snag one of the jars he was unable to sell. So it's got a kind of aggressive pour. The general ones are smooth and look nice anyways. Uh, we get a nice off-white, almost cream color. It almost has a gray tinge to it. Small particles throughout, good sign for a clay product. I like seeing that. Scooping it out is quite, it's got some, some serious density to it, but quite easy to scoop out itself. Once it's in the hand and broken down, it's quite, just like scooping out, easy, thick, dense. As we start to emulsify it even more, it starts to dry up just a touch, nothing too crazy. And we get a distinct tackiness, stickiness in the hand. That's quite nice. And should lead to a solid hold here. Uh, now this is a firm hold product, I believe, medium firm hold product. And we'll go over kind of how it works that way as we get to performance. Going into the hair, again we have clean, blow dried hair, nothing else in it. Simply the clay pomade doing the work here. Um, I would have taken note from the last video. Um, essentially, um, some people have had issues with my hair being so short for certain reviews. So I'll have to catalog and Make sure I plan ahead for when I get haircuts so that my hair isn't too short so people can actually see what's going on. I think right now, essentially a week after a haircut is when my hair grows long enough that we can start to see the differences from product to product. I've gone on with in with two very small size uh, scoops, potentially dime, potentially smaller. Um, something like this 
and that's the third scoop there. So far application is pretty smooth. The tackiness for that we felt in our hands hasn't uh, overwhelmed my hair yet. But here in the third scoop, we're starting to get what we're after here from our product. I'm starting to get some good uh, amount of product in the hair that it's now kind of doing some things instead of nothing. So one thing to note, I wouldn't call this a straight up firm hold just because uh, it, firm hold products tend to take hold much quicker in the fact that they are stronger so you'll instantly get that hold versus something that's a little bit less I find takes a little bit more product to get or reach somewhat of a firm hold. We'll discuss this a little bit more as we go through. Texture has been added in, nothing too crazy. It's complex, but still maintains a coarseness to it. So it's nothing super overwhelming for my fine hair. Control, pretty moderate, um, nothing crazy. I still have to really work at it, as you can see. Mm, intuitively, it's, it's all right. That kind of blends in with the control aspect. Um, overall, half decent here. Didn't get the ideal shape, but I think that's more a matter of how I, my blow dry process went this morning. But overall, it's, it's fairly good. I would say it sits into that moderate to well above average in terms of control and styling. A little bit on the side here to calm down the stupid sides that stick out. And from there, I'd call it pretty much finished. So what can we say? So first thing off the bat, medium to firm hold. I think that's kind of what I'm getting out of it using the product. It still required about three scoops, even with the general weight of it, it still required a little bit more. But a big plus there is it didn't oversaturate and make the hair just unusable or unstylable. So pretty good aspect there. The finish of it I would say is a nice matte finish just below natural potentially natural I wouldn't call it distinctly matte um, but I also wouldn't I might not put it as a natural I'd say it's in between that distinct matteness and a natural it doesn't add any shine doesn't really take away any a good level probably my favorite shine level to, per se uh, from there, as we talked about control, matter, moderate, slightly above average. Texture, fine to coarse hair, it's quite complex. Excellent, I would say. Uh, moving on to endurance, again, middle of the road, nothing crazy. I think it works well because maybe not in my hair, maybe with a thicker hair, you would get a quite high endurance. With products that have that density, they do last a bit longer than something's creamy or something like that. There's, there's more substance to it besides just water in that it's a little bit more concentrated in each scoop that you apply. Having fine hair, I can't add too much, so potentially bumping that up, I would say this is an above average endurance. If you had thicker hair and you applied more product, I think it would be a quite substantial upgrade in the endurance and you'd get a full day's worth of use, no problem. This one, I can trust it for a moderate day. No workouts, nothing crazy. It does have substance after a workout, sweating and stuff, but it's that's not the point of a product like this. But it does allow you to have some texture and it falls apart nicely when the product does evaporate out of the hair. And from there, the washout of it, is pretty good I would say. It actually feels quite nice in the hair. A little bit of potential moisture added in. It feels healthy. 
it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel gross, and when you wash it out, it comes out pretty clean. Nothing amazing, but again, as we kind of discuss on this channel, wash out isn't a huge big deal for me. Um, there are other channels that might give you a little bit more in depth. Essentially, it comes out with shampoo, I'm happy, no problems from there, even just a light cleanser. So overall, I think this is a great uh, kind of step in direction for Faith and Integrity. It's a quality product that I have no problems using and grabbing and I'm not concerned about my hair looking like crap. Now is it something I'm going to grab every day? Probably not. This isn't a superb product that I can trust for every single styling um, experience or moment that I require. It is good, above average potentially, but nothing superb in its styling. I think they, to push it to that next step, we need a little bit better um, showcase of what the product's held in. Uh, the scents could be a little bit more complex. I find the citrus is nice for myself. It's not pungent, doesn't clash with anything, but it's fairly straightforward. It's essentially just a basic citrus scent. Nothing too crazy. Performance works very well. As you can see, it's styled nice, I think and uh, it worked well with my hair. So from there, a few tips for them to potentially improve, and I'm excited to see what they have ahead of time. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned. I'll have links to the products and anything there, Any um, and if there's any words on different retailers that you can grab it at. I think it's potentially only available in the US right now, but that might be changing. I'm not entirely sure. Again, everything will be linked down below. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do have, sorry, my dog is deciding to make some noises in the background. So yeah, anyways, uh, don't mind that cut and edit there. Essentially my dog found something to eat in here. Um, but yeah, everything will be linked below. If you haven't seen, I do have coupon codes and stuff in the description for a few products that I've reviewed in the past. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll be back in a few days, week type of thing with a, another review for you. See you guys later.